Why did this look so good on Kylie, but it looks like this on me? I literally feel and look like a bouncy castle in this jacket and that's not the vibe I was going for for 145 pounds. Honestly, at this point, forget Kai. It should be called Why. Why Kylie? You are out here scamming people. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, today we are doing part two to trying out Kylie Jenner's new clothing brand called Kai. If you guys haven't seen part one of this video, I'll link it in the eye right there. But basically I tried out the first ever drop she did. It was the full leather shebang. So if you guys wanted to check that out, definitely give it a watch. But this time around, we're gonna be trying out her second drop. As soon as I saw the second drop with all the puffer jackets, the neutral color, I was sold and I was so looking forward to buying this jacket. I set the alarm and reminder on my phone I was literally counting down the days until I could place this order and when it got to the time I literally rushed to the website to try and get my order for this video and lo and behold Everything that I wanted was sold out. I was literally gutted They basically allowed customers that had signed up to their waitlist on their website have early access and by that point everything that was in my size that I wanted in the neutral colors was gone and I basically just got the scraps. And don't get me wrong, I am happy that I managed to get anything at all because I really wanted to film this video for you guys, but the coat of my dreams in the neutral color is gone and I don't think they'll ever restock it. I did manage to get it in a different color which wasn't my first choice, but we'll see what it's like. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you wanna stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. And also please excuse my voice once again, I'm still ill since my last video. I've not recovered, so you're gonna have to listen to this nasally Roxy today. All right, so first things first, here is how my order has arrived. It actually came in two separate boxes of this size. In total, I spent 380 pounds, which is roughly around $478 on four items, which is honestly kind of diabolical, but it's for you guys. We're gonna see if this brand is worth the hype. Once again, here is what the branding looks like when you open up the box. Everything is just branded with the word Kai. Pretty simple, it's definitely giving like Skims vibes if you know what I mean. All right, so the very first item we're gonna be trying out is this. This is the long sleeve bodysuit in the shade Stone. This was 55 pounds and I am really, really interested to see what this will actually feel like on. Here it is, ooh, I actually really, really like the look of it. As you guys can see, it's just a really high neck scooped kind of neckline. It's got the long sleeve, but the really interesting part is that it actually has a zipper right here. Does that actually have a pocket on the side? Oh, it doesn't zip. What? It's sewn up. I really thought there was gonna be a pocket in here. That would have been so cool. I guess it's more of like a design feature than anything else because I mean, you'd never be able to fit anything in a tiny pocket like that. But yeah, that is the bodysuit. As you can see, it's pretty snatched. It's got a pretty severe thong going on and I've just realized it doesn't even have like a claspy crotch thing that most bodies usually have. So if you need an emergency wee, I mean, let's just say you're gonna struggle a little bit. This might be a little bit of a squeeze because I got this in an extra extra small it was literally the last size they had in this color and I was just desperate to get something in the neutral color so I'm a little bit nervous that I'm not gonna fit in it but I guess we'll see and to go with the body I also picked up the cargo trousers which I'm pretty sure were like their least selling products because they had every size and every color either that or they just were anticipating these to be like super hot and they got way more stock of this I managed to get these in my size extra small and these were 93 pounds which is quite a lot for a simple pair of cargo trousers like this they don't even look like there's anything special about them like they're pretty plain and the fabric is kind of thin like it's very very thin look at that fabric it's literally like your parachute type of trousers so you know the fabric isn't amazingly thick they also look very very baggy and just very wide considering they're an extra small so I guess we'll see how we get on with this. Now color wise I obviously got these to match. They do appear slightly different color because obviously they're made of different fabrics. I feel like Kylie has managed to match these fabrics as close as she could but ultimately they are slightly different. I guess without further ado let's try this outfit on and see how it fits. All right guys so here is the first outfit and what it looks like on. I am as equally impressed as I am disappointed and those two emotions are equally split 
perfectly in line right here. I'll let you guys take a guess which one I'm disappointed about. The top is perfect. It fits like a glove. I really like the fact that it's actually got like thumb holes in the sleeves. I didn't even notice that. I think everything about it, the fabric, the material, like the fit of it, how stretchy it is, is just perfect. This is giving Skims vibes. As for the trousers, oh my gosh, what is this? These were like 90 something pounds and this is what we get. Are you actually kidding? They are just not okay. They're just not okay. I mean, maybe it's just me and I like things to fit like normally up here. These are like super low rise, but I don't even know if they're supposed to be super low rise. I just think that they're just too just too baggy, really. They genuinely feel like they're gonna fall off my freaking butt. And I don't think that's how a pair of trousers is supposed to fit. These are an extra small, which should be my size. Maybe I should have gone for extra, extra small, which I'm normally not. With that being said, this body was the extra, extra small and it actually fits fine. So perhaps Kai sizing just isn't very reliable. I feel like it's just not really true to size. These cargo trousers would have been perfectly fine had they fit. Like, like up here, you know what I mean? But then look how much excess fabric I have. There's just way too much excess fabric for this to be an extra small. These could have been something, they really could have. Kylie, why? Honestly, at this point, forget Kai. It should be called Why. Why Kylie? Yeah, these are just not a vibe. I mean, I had hopes, I had hopes, especially because they were like 90 pounds or something. I just... These are going straight back. They could have been cool, but they literally just look like they're about to freaking fall off my body. So it's a no from me. I'm literally gonna give these like a zero out of 10. As for the body, the body is actually super nice. I really like the way that it fits. It makes my body look snatched. The only thing I would say though, just bear in mind, if you do sweat a lot under your armpits, I feel like this might not be great for you because this is literally touching the skin of my armpit. If I wore this out all day, I feel like I would just be one swift walk away from just having sweat patches under my arms. But all in all, I do like the look of the body. It's very comfortable. So I'm going to give the body like a nine out of 10. Moving on to the next item, we're going to be trying out the cat suit, which I feel like was definitely one of the best selling kind of items. It was like the hero product. It was plastered all over their Instagram. So I feel like a lot of people would have gone for this. And that's definitely why it was sold out in the color I wanted, which is of course the beige. So I ended up getting it in the black in extra small and this catsuit was 87 pounds so again quite expensive the fit of this better be snatching me to the gods because if it's not then i don't want it oh okay it feels very nice it's exactly the same sort of like thick structured stretchy kind of cotton fabric as the bodysuit you might not be able to see much as it is black but it has exactly the same top as the bodysuit so it's got the little zipper on the side. It's very, very like high neck and scooped. It's got the long sleeve with like the stitching. Probably really, really hard to see because this literally just blends in. Now my biggest criticism about the first drop that Kylie did was the fact that the trousers were just so incredibly long. I feel like even the tallest people that I know would wear those trousers and just feel like they're getting swamped in them. So I'm hoping that's not going to be the same case with the jumpsuit and stuff. I mean, they do look kind of long like the legs, but I mean with leggings, they are a little bit easier to like bunch up and it doesn't look as weird. So I guess let's try this on and see how it actually fits on me. All right, so here is the cat suit and what it looks like on. I mean, this is definitely one of those items that I knew I was gonna love. The way that it fits around the waist and just everywhere is perfection. It fits so well. It's very like body contouring as well. Not in the sense like skims where they're like shapewear is actually tucking you in places, but more in the sense that it just like kind of glides over any lumps and bumps, if you know what I mean. I'm wearing some underwear that isn't completely seamless and I feel like it really just helps to kind of glide over it and smooth it out. I absolutely love the fact that this again has thumb holes in the sleeves. It's just so much more like cozy. The sleeves are long enough to like place over your hands, which I feel like is really nice. The whole cat suit is made of like a super stretchy fabric. As you can see, it's very like body adhering, but you still have room. Now the leggings do run quite long. They are 
kind of bunching up in the bottoms, but it's nowhere near as bad as those leather trousers in the first video. So that's something I can get along with. I think these are great because obviously us short girls can wear them, but also taller girls can as well. Now this is one of those items that I feel like who is actually gonna wear something like this out in like day-to-day -day life? Probably no one. I'm gonna be real with you guys. A lot of you guys see me as like a fashion influencer or a YouTuber that like dresses fashionably all the time and that is totally not the case. So when I say this, us regular people, I really mean it. Like us regular people do not wear stuff like this. So yeah, it's definitely one of those very overpriced items that probably not a lot of people would get a lot of use out of. So all in all, what am I gonna rate this? I mean, I do like it, it does fit nicely, but is it worth like 90 odd pounds? Probably not. So with that in mind, I think I'm gonna rate this like a six out of 10. All right, and now the very last item we're gonna be trying out is one of the jackets. Now, like I said, I did manage to get the one I actually wanted, but not in the color that I wanted. I really wanted it in the beige. It just looked so stunning. I absolutely love the like puffer detail and the way that it just really snatched the body. It just looked really, really flattering and I've never seen a puffer coat like that. So so I was super drawn to it. Instead, I had to get it in the blue, which is literally like my least favorite color. I despise wearing blue. I don't know why, I just don't think it suits me at all. So this was 145 pounds for a coat I'm probably never gonna wear, so that's fun. This coat, I'm not gonna lie, looks a little bit strange when I'm just holding it up. I mean, look at the shape of it, it's just like, in the midsection of the coat, it also has this part here, which almost looks like a corset, which I feel like is definitely a great way to make your waist look a lot more snatched. Look how cute the little peplum area on the bottom of the coat is. Honestly, I'm obsessed with this. My one downside is the fact that there is no pockets whatsoever. That is such a bummer. I literally cannot wear a coat without a pocket, so that kind of sucks. On the inside, this is what it looks like. It's pretty quilted still and it feels very very nice and warm it actually has these cinching in drawstrings right here so you can actually snatch it even more if you like do i think this is worth 145 pounds no not at all because the actual thickness of this coat is very thin i don't think this would really keep you warm in the toughest of winters seriously the only thing you're paying for here is the fact that this is kylie's brand and maybe because the design of the puffer coat is different than what you can normally find on the market with that being being said though, I do still really like the shape. I just don't love the color. So let's try it on with the black cat suit and see what it looks like. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, the jacket. Honestly, as soon as I put this on, I feel like it just looks very weird on me. Maybe it's the fact that it just isn't supposed to be worn open like this. I feel like it just looks so strange. I swear this is making me look like a clown. I think it's the way that it like fans out in the bottom. I just can't. And then the sleeve just feels so bulky here. As it stands right now, I absolutely hate it. Oh my gosh, maybe it's a good thing that I got this in this color because I would have been so disappointed if it was in the beige. I mean, let's try and do it up. Maybe I'll change my mind based on it done up. <laughs> it looks worse! Why does it look worse? Why does it look like this? I don't understand. What's going on? What's happening? Why did this look so good on Kylie but it looks like this on me? It looks awful, 145 pounds for this. It just looks so unproportional with my legs. Well, this is freaking disappointing, I'll tell you that. This is just a joke. I feel like there's no saving this. This is, this is it. Kylie girl, you are out here scamming people. Just FYI, this is me stood with my arms relaxed. It looks like I'm doing something to make this look worse, but I'm literally just stood here and this is how it looks. I feel like my arms just look like two little sausages. They don't even sit like comfortably against my body. They almost like bounce because of this part here and then how cushioned this is. I literally feel and look like a bouncy castle in this jacket and that's not the vibe I was going for for 145 pounds. So I'm gonna have to give this jacket like, 
a two out of 10. And I'm actually so distraught because I thought I was gonna love this. All right, guys, so those are all of the outfits from Kai that we're gonna be trying out today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know in the comments below which one of these items or outfits was your favorite. I really, really liked the first one. However, the trousers I just wasn't really a big fan of. So let me know your thoughts. Do you guys think that Kai is like overpriced or do you think it's worth it because of the quality? I feel like the brand Kai is definitely kind of heading towards like Skims sort of aesthetics. The Kardashian family obviously already knows that the formula for Skims works and I feel like they're just trying to replicate that with Kai. Now since I placed this order for this video, I have noticed that she's already like teasing the third drop. So if you guys wanted to see that, let me know. The third drop is supposedly like basic pieces like joggers, t-shirts and stuff like that, which seems a little bit like merchy to me, a little bit too basic. But let me know your thoughts. If you guys wanna see a video on it, I can totally do one. Anyways, that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really apologize about my voice again. It just sounds so awful and there's nothing I can do about it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.